Hello, welcome on everyone. Happy Minish Monday. Hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, we're just vibing. It's Monday. A bit of a late start today, but yeah, I thought we'd do another chill Minish Cap Seed. Um, probably not going to be able to stream this Thursday. And so next Monday is going to be uh, our first playthrough of the new Pokemon game, which is exciting. So I thought we'd do something quick and chill and like I didn't want to start like an exciting new adventure quite yet. Uh, but... Today is just going to be a nice chill um, Minish Cap seat, but I thought it would be fun to try Key Sanity because we haven't done a Key Sanity in like a long time and I feel like that's kind of fun. I feel like it might be fun one day, maybe not today, but someday it might be fun to do like a one hit KO like figurine hunt or something to that nature. I think that would be fun. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and switch on over and everything is wrong because I didn't do any prep works. So let's get our tracker open. Let's get our go mode hidden. Let's hook up. This is important. Let's hook up the auto tracker. Very, very important. And uh, hold on. A little that, a little this, a little that. And ta da! Okay, cool. Uh, and let's get some sound going. Cool. Gaming. Ta-da! We love to game. Alright, uh, what should we name our hero today? It is Monday. It's Minish Monday. It's an exciting chill time. Um, hmm. Alright, let's see. We've got our tracker. We've got our timer. We've got our hero. Our hero's name today is gonna be... Let's go with... I don't know why. Let's go with D. Because <laughs> why not? Okay. Well, we are uh, off to the races. Standard race settings plus key sanity. So without further ado, three, two, one. Let's jam. Oh, I forgot a cow follower today. Aw. That's so sad. I always remember. I always have... This, this seat is already cursed. We don't have Cornelius Von Moo with us today. Heinous, embarrassing. Also, it's very spooky music to start off. That's okay. So you have a shield. Shield is a good, is an interesting start. Shield doesn't open anything for us yet. We need, we would at least need, at least need bombs. Not like that. Um, to be able to make the shield useful, because there's two. The shield basically unlocks two deck of scrub checks, and like nothing else. A lot of money. Hopefully there's something in the shop for us. Oof. Dramatic music for Castletown. Oh, let's talk to Cafe Lady. One dollar. Alright, what's in the shop? Karloff's severed head for max amount. It looked like that was a wallet in the back. So that's useful. Ooh, there's a key. There's our first key. 
This is intentional until the non-accident enter here. Yeah, I know how this game works. Cool. All right, we're running out of Sphere Zero checks. I still have five more, six more, seven more. There's a bunch of Sphere Zero checks actually with obscure spots on too. More money. So it looks like we're gonna wanna hit up Stockwell's attic as soon as possible so we can start accumulating money for uh, Karloff's Severhead. I think is the play. Now Karloff's head is the max, um, excuse me, is the max wallet amount. Oh yeah, map. so yeah, so all dungeon items are shuffled into the pool. So we're gonna get maps and compasses and keys and all that fun stuff. Joe, welcome on in. Key sanity, oh, there's our sword. Key sanity means Dungeon items are shuffled into the pool, so keys, small keys, big keys, maps, compasses are all just part of the regular old pool of items, which means that we may be able to enter a dungeon and then get stuck because there's no keys left. Key sanity. Thought it'd be fun to mix it up a little bit. So a sword is big. A sword means we're going to go straight back to Link's Puddle next. Once we finish these checks. There's a book. I think we should still do the courtyard. There's like two checks? One check? Two checks. Two checks. But welcome on in. Happy Minish Monday. Hope you're doing well. It is different. Um, I need to replace the light bulb next to me. So I have a lamp here and the bulb is dying. And so I turned on the backlight to like try to add more because it was very dark otherwise. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope it's okay lighting. Hope it's acceptable. Ow. Yeah. It's a choice in some ways. It's Link's puddle. Then we're going to check... So last time we um, spent, a, we waited a long time to go to Swiftblade, and that was our progression. So I kind of want to. Ooh, actually, hold on. Now this is a hype puddle. Let's go. Oh no, that's too many choices. I'll grab this just to be safe. Okay. Oh no, that's so many things. Oh no, <laughs> what do I do now? So we have spin attack, that's good. Um, oh god. That was so many things. I'm like, we've got cane, what was that? Cane, cape, bombs, and bow. I guess we'll, let's do minish loop. Since we have bombs. Man. Yeah, but if I want to do beam stonk. Sorry for being different. Sorry for changing things. Change is scary. Oh, that means town minish checks. Oh, there's light arrows. Okay. Sure, why not? Um... So, we, because we have the cape and the cane, town minish checks are in logic, which means we could go get the wallet from the back of Stockwell Shop. But we need two wallets anyway in order to get Karloff's medal. So, we can kind of postpone it a bit until we find another wallet. That might be the play. I think that's going to be the play because there's only so many checks we can actually do. There's the map for something. I don't know what. It's a map. Ooh, remote bombs. Let's go. All right, so solid start to the seat. The seat has opened up a lot. It's kind of hard to know where to go next. That's kind of vanilla, almost. 
Valar gives you bombs. And the compass, apparently. Alright, let's see. But yeah, how how was your weekend? How's life? All garbage. I'm scared because he's being really nice and that scares me. I'm naturally distrustful. Did a lot of walking. Ooh, imagine going outside. I actually went outside uh, earlier today, which was pretty off brand for me. And then I'm gonna pick up those remote bombs because that sounds useful. Money. Don't have digging mitts yet, so we're stuck here. But with the cape, actually. We can go this way. True. How was your community day? I guess I saw you on community day, so... Ooh, we're getting a lot of, uh... Scrolls. We'll check Lon Lon, we'll check, um... We're just kind of- I'm just kind of doing a loop of everything. Hooper raids, less so. Sorry to hear. Oh, actually, we should check the Orphan Fairy, since we have the cane. I want to do Lower Veil Falls also, because we have Cape and Cane, so that's a couple checks. Should have Quick Warped, actually. To be faster. Probably. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, I've been seeing- yeah, the elite raids. That seems like a lot of effort. Whee! You'll love to see it. We can do this check real quick. Ba, ba. 
Manila. Nice. Nice. Nailed it. I, yeah, I'm just like wandering. I don't even know what direction I'm heading. I don't have a bottle yet, but I do have the shield, so I can get this Deku scrub. I've had this shield for a long time, so I'm hoping this deck of scrubs is actually useful. Perfect, okay. Yeah, so the thing with key sanity is I'm probably gonna avoid going to any dungeons um, for a while. We don't have a bottle, so we can't, yeah, we don't have a bottle, so we can't do Krennel yet. Uh, we do have west side of town access, excuse me. Which means we have town minish checks as well. Although we have, with the cane, we have time minutes checks also. Oh, we got three swift blade checks. Let's do those. Back to back to back. Hey, you guys excited? Uh, new Pokemon game is out on Friday? Friday. Or Thursday. Friday. Four days from now. It is... Yeah, Friday. It's exciting. I'm probably gonna stream it on maybe Sunday, probably Monday. So tune in for that content. Yeah, bitte. So, not super useful, but that's okay. Cool, but that was a wallet. Cool. Let's do this check. Ooh, Tingle Trophy. Hog. Yeah. It's exciting to see excitement. We, the Pokemon community will never learn this lesson. And that's okay. Let's do back at bakery. I want that. <laughs> Please be real. Let's go. Oh, that's exciting. All right, let's do digging cave and then we'll go do um, the... Actually, we have lake access with the cave. We should go do hype cave. That I feel like is the most logical place to go next. I'm glad I've like managed to avoid spoilers for, like I've been seeing, you know, like, ooh, hog. I've been seeing some stuff uh, related to like, you know, whatever trailers have dropped, but I know that there's like apparently just spoilers galore online. I 
there's two checks here, or is it just one? I don't know, it's just the one. Yes, I've kind of like low-key quit Twitter cold turkey. Um for a variety of reasons. And honestly, pretty pretty good. Life's pretty good. I've been playing a lot of solitaire lately on my phone. That's what I've replaced uh, Twitter doom scrolling with. Which, you know, no complaints. Love Solitaire. Very cool game. Whoop. Not what I meant. Whatever. To the lake! Away! Rude. I started to jump way too early. One dollar. I don't even know what my dungeons are yet. <laughs> There's just so many overworld checks that opened up to us with the after hype cave or after Link's puddle cave. Ooh, oh hey, there's our first kinstone piece. I feel like that's usually the good a good spot to be like, okay, what are our dungeons? Okay. No deep wood, no Todd. I'll take that. Actually, there's a couple checks up here. Now of course no Todd is always a lie. You always have to go to Todd anyway. But it's nice to pretend. Alright, Hype Cave, what do you got for me? Wish I had the Gluck Schmetterling for this, but that's okay. Oh, Gluck Schmetterling! Not the right one, though. Unfortunately. That would have been really cool. Gluck Schmetterling! Yes. Um, so I probably won't stream this Thursday on account of my parents are visiting. So I need to, you know, entertain. Um, so probably will not stream Thursday, unfortunately. But have fun with Element Cup. Yeah, I think I mentioned this before, but my stream schedule for the remainder of the year is probably going to be all over the place just because it's that time of year. Um, no! Ow. So definitely uh, tune in. I will try to- I'll try my best to announce any stream, like, cancellations. Um, I 
or any like makeup stream. Anything that's not in our normal calendar cadence. I'll try to make post it in the Ow! Discord. Oop. Yeah, it's that chaotic time of year. The most wonderfully chaotic time of year. Use this. Can't go that way. Don't want to go that way, I mean. Let's check this guy. Ooh. Thank you. I don't have hearts yet for Wave Blade. That's okay. And then we'll go Peak Todd because that's what you may as well while you're here. Even the Todd is an optional dungeon. We already have a key. Oh wait, actually, do we have the big key? No, we don't. Oh, oh, we're key sanity. So we actually can't dip, t unless this is a vanilla big key or Rando's vanilla. Um, unless it's a big key, we're actually gonna get stuck here. I forgot that that's how key sanity works. Oops. I was like, oh, I'll get the key and we'll just beep boop bop and do a bunch of checks on Todd. Whoopsie. Yeah, we're stuck. We can't- we cannot progress. Oh, actually we could check- whatever. <laughs> I was like, we could check the other, because we have a key, but I would rather not. It would've been really cool if we had the big key. Um, actually let's go... It's rude! Octo's trying to get a death on me. Okay, where do we want to go now? Great question. Hmm. Bonk. Jump is so hard. There we go. Ba, 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 da, ba, da. Oh, we could do the digging cave in Lower Vale Falls that we didn't do last time. Eh. Some do we have? Oh, true. Okay, maybe I'll do a makeup stream on like Sunday then for to try to like close out the season if there's time on if we have time. Okay, now actually, where do I want to go? Oh, let's turn in the tingle trophy. Because we can. And there's one last swift blade check as well. And then I'm starting to get a little lost on where to go next. Two cuckoos and Simons. Mm hmm I do love Turtwig. God, you know me so well. Can Turtwig learn beam though? That's the important thing. Can I beam with the Turtwig? Oh, there's a bottle. Okay, I'm glad I came back for Swift Blade. That opens up Krennel. Let's go do, do Krennel. Pardon me, excuse me. Thank you.
Oh, I could have peeked that earlier, but that's okay. It wasn't anything useful. I don't have the grip ring, so we're gonna... So I'm a little crunchy on health, which I don't love. But with the, the fact that we have the... Um... Ooh, let's go. We need that. Um, the fact that we have the cane means that we can skip vanilla climb, which is nice. Although we don't have the grip ring, so we wouldn't be able to do vanilla climb anyway. I don't like this music, it's spooky. Yes, please. Thank you. I will always take an early gust jar. Yes, sir. Usually we're hunting for gust jar for a long time. But I guess since deep wood's not required. Ah, whatever. In gust we trust. I love that. Okay, another kinstone. Okay, there's some health. Some money. Perfect timing on the gust jar, actually, because now we can just do this. Which is much faster than bombs. Although with remote bombs, it's probably comparable. I still think faster, though, with the gust jar. So yeah, uh, I think we're with the cane we're gonna be able to do Malari's Mines, which will be good because that'll that's a bunch of obscure spots. Menuing is so fun. Bird. There's one check here we can do pre grip ring. Just the map. Yeah, no grip ring. I could look at my tracker too, I guess, but that's boring. This away. Actually, yeah, because we can make it. Yeah, we can make it to the deck to scrub without the grip ring, because that's how you get it in vanilla. Ow. So we can definitely get that far at least. Which means maybe what I'll do is set up the quick warp to Grenel. Actually, no keys. We have no keys for Cape of Flames. But I'll set up Malari's Mines, Quick Warp. Actually, I'll just do Malari's Mines. Hmm. 
Is... Oh! Pog. I will take that. Um... I will absolutely take a lantern. One of these. All right, let's see how I did. It's like, yeah, the tracker, luckily the tracker like lets me know how many I got. Okay, I missed one, two, three. Classic. The problem is like, you don't know sometimes if the thing you got is the legit thing or what. You know, you feel. What did I miss? Oh, I got that one, okay. Actually, hold on. Routing. Routing! Leomon, hello, hello. Welcome on in. Happy Minish Monday. Hope your weekend treated you well. Hope it was restful or productive or whatever goals you set for yourself for this weekend. I had a nice long weekend because of uh, Veterans Day, so I very much appreciated having the extra day off. Day off hype. Helped, yeah. Helped. I like hype better. Day off hype, let's go. Okay, and there's one more spot we missed, which is here for some reason. It's, there's no like indication. I feel like the point is you're supposed to like, I don't know, just go into the mines and like dig every single spot and hope that you find some good stuff. We have the lantern, which is pretty poggers. Um, that was the big find here. We'll have to come back here with the grip ring later. Uh, but yeah, we're doing a chill Minish Cap key sanity, which means that a lot of dungeons are not gonna be in logic for a while because we need to wait until we have enough keys. And you can see in the tracker how many keys we have for each dungeon. You can see we have none for Cave of Flames, so we're done there. Unfortunately, this is gonna drop us here, yeah. Uh, we may as well peek Krennel, at least the front room. Cause I, that could be stuff. There's rupees. Cause the nice thing is with key sanity, it means that there's um, extra items in every dungeon. Because dungeon items, basically yeah, all small keys, big keys, maps, compasses, all that good stuff is all shuffled into the pool. Like this book. Or this key for Palace of Winds. Actually, while we're here, may as well just keep going into. We only we don't have any keys, so we're gonna get. We can do like the front half of the front half. If that makes sense. We can do this first, the bit up to the first key, and then we can bail. I like this music. Why can't I ever get a helmet sword room like that during an actual run? Beautiful. That's garbage. Yeah, I think there's a decent number of checks leading up to the first uh, key that's worth dipping Cave of Flames. We're going to have to come back here eventually anyway. Um, but if we can do everything up to the key, then at least we can like get to the key. Like it's easy to get to that first locked door uh, without having to retrace too many steps. So it's not like super redundant. bottle. Ba -ba -ba. All right, 
that's it for checks. So let's leave. We got a buff. That's pretty cool. We got some we got some dungeon items uh, for other places, so. Right, we have no grip ring, so we are stuck. We are out of things to do, so let's leave. Um and go. Where should we go next? Where should we go next? The million dollar question. We have to walk down the slow way too. Ugh. Ugh. We did. We must. We did that digging cave, right? Yeah. We must have. We must have. Um. Let's go. Do schoolyard checks. Well, whilst we ponder where to go next. Uh, we don't really have any dungeon access besides Krennel. We want big key for Todd to open up all those checks. We need another- what we need is a sword. That's not a sword. We ha oh, we got the lantern. That's big. So we could do two lantern checks here in town. Well, one in town and then one um, north of town in the courtyard. Because, yeah, without the big key, the lantern doesn't do anything for us, uh, for Todd. But actually, we can finish clearing the courtyard, so we may as well do that. This guy. Yeah. We. Oui. All right. Okay. So lantern did nothing for us so far. Um, but lantern is. Honestly, probably optional. Like, unless there's some really good things in Todd, which there most likely will be. Um, sir, please don't. Um, because Todd is- it's possible- the, so logically the lanterns require boo for any dark areas, including Upper Vale Falls and Royal Valley. But you don't really need the lantern. You know that you can you can use it as like a logic gate to know that like oh the lantern can't be in those areas. Um, but it doesn't technically it doesn't really like unlock checks for us. Other than stuff in Temple of Droplets. Okay, nothing there in the courtyard, which is a bit upsetting. What kind of stones do we have? Um. Hmm. Do Simon Sims and Kakus? Starting to run out of ideas. Uh, no great spin attack yet. Sad. Where is he? There he is. Oh, there's multiple. Oh, there's a bunch left. Okay, there we 
we go. Much easier with the great spin attack. Oh, hey, okay. That was a good call. Perfect, let's go. There we go. God, that's so annoying. Simon Sims was the red sword. Man, that's annoying. It's a horrible place to put it. Alright, to Western Wood we go. Away. Ha, true. I mean, that's, uh... That's fair. I definitely one time, like, saw someone, like, spell Dugong, the animal, the way it's supposed to be spelled, and I was like, Psh, that's not how you spell it. It's spelled D-E-W. And then I felt like a fool who had been bamboozled by Pokemon. I'm so glad we have the myths right now. Oh, let's go. That's a fake cane. We already have the cane. Do not be fooled. Okay, Flippers is big. Flippers is very useful. That opens a lot of stuff. Actually, let's set up a quick warp. And remind me to actually use the quick warp. Let's go save Percy. That's another lantern check. Yeah, why'd she so poorly? It's Pokemon's fault. Exactly. Can you believe Pokemon would trick us like that? So rude. I think it's just those two. Beam stunk. Oh, but it's all sideways. Okay. Got that's our Temple of Droplets big key, which is actually useful. There is our big wallet, which is going to give us access. I think no, actually, I think we need another wallet. I think we need all four wallet, three wallet upgrades to to get Karloff's head. But we're one step closer to Karloff, which hopefully is something. My goodness. Locked behind three wallets. I never actually used the quick warp that I set up. Like, I always remember to set it up and I never remember to use it. Got the Glückschmetter link for fast swimming, which is nice. Probably the second best one. So I believe we're, we do need every kinstone because um, those are the dungeons. We need Castor Wild or Fortress and Palace. Unfortunately, which is very sad. Okay, 
One long key, cute. We do have the bow. Okay, Team Rocket Takeover. Is that just like more... Oh yeah, it's like the thematic uh, rocket battles. I need that. The nice thing about Key Sanity, my favorite part about Key Sanity, the reason we do it, is that we have the DHC Big Key already. So once we get to Hyrule Castle, it's just like, once we get to go mode, it's just we zip straight to body. We don't have to worry about any of the not like nonsense in DHC. So you can have shadow Pokemon that are actually useful instead of ones we have right now. We have a lot of items. We're just missing Ocarina um, in terms of dungeon items and Grip Ring. We'll need to complete Cape. Well, we'll need Grip Ring for Palace to get to Palace. But honestly. Got a lot of items so far. Also, we still need to wear swords. Um, and lots of keys. But we could full, well, okay. Deep wood shrine is optional, so I don't want to do that. We can't really do any of our required dungeons, but we can do our optional dungeons, which I hate. But you know, it is what it is. Might be the right call. We have flippers, we may as well do hiking. See if we can get two more scrolls and then talk to this guy. else can we do over here? Ooh, more bombs. I'll take a bigger bomb bag. Let me check this guy real quick. And let's leave. Cool. So, what did we find? What did we learn?
Hmm. Where are we going? What are we doing? Not the best Western wood. We got flippers. That was the big find. That was the big. So let's go do flipper type checks. Could have done this one a long time ago, but that's okay. Actually, there's a lot of flipper like checks. Uh, let's do Lower Veil Falls because it has the dojo, flipper jo a flipper lock dojo, and also um, a digging cave we missed. Do fountain. Yeah, let's do fountain. Can't do Dr. Left's Attic without power bracelets. So that's locked. I feel like there's always something good. That's like three checks in Fountain. Really dramatic music. Wow, slow spin attack, apparently. All right, let's check this item. Cursed. Okay. Curses. Foiled again. We could do school. Garden. Two checks there. Nah. Yeah, let's, let's focus on flipper checks, because that was- we got the red sword, we got flippers, we should do flipper stuff. Our first Caster Wildskin Stone. Oh, we could also do Wave Blade. So let's go back to Lake now that we have flippers and do all of our like flippers based checks in Lake. And we have the big key for Todd, so we can do Loopy Hallway and all the obscure checks. That's probably the play. Alright, guys, to Lake. To the lake. Bah. Oh, we can also do wave blade. All right. We have Deepwood Shrine access, but I don't want to go to Deepwood Shrine. I think Todd is a better play. I don't think how many checks there are in- Oh hey, power bracelets! That's something.
Nailed it. Gaming. Gaming. Cool. That's useful. And then there's one more check over here. I'm doing welcome on in. Happy Minish Monday. How are you doing? How was your weekend? How was your Monday? Yeah, home on a Monday for a change. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a minute. How's life? How have you been? Yeah, we're doing a key sanity. Oh, let's go this way. Ooh, snow tomorrow. That's exciting. I love snow. I love snow because I've never had to shovel it. So. So we finally got the big key, which means that all this stuff is now open to us. And we like to refer to Todd as Atlantis with these settings. Because it is full of sunken treasure. Garbage! Yeah, here in California, we do not get snow. How exciting! Yeah, no sympathy. I'm just the worst. <laughs> like, ugh, gross, snow. Tch! Nothing exciting about it. I love snow. I guess it depends where you're from, how much snow you get. How novel the snow is. But even like when I lived on the East Coast and had like regular snowfall every year, um, it's still like the first snow of the year is so fun, so exciting. Yeah, it seems like a lot of places are getting snow pretty early this year. Like normally, I feel like for the last couple years, it's been really warm falls. Where like you don't get snow, maybe a white Christmas, but like November, it's like early November, or it's mid-November. I like this music for Todd, it's cozy. We're not gonna fight Blue Chew. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Hmm. So nothing so far, a couple kinstones, but nothing super exciting. Nothing that opens up anything for us. God, I hate scissor beetles. Yeah, no, totally. That's the nice thing. Like, SF weather at least is like generally pretty predictable. It's a little chilly. Without like, but not like cold. There's something about like San Francisco cold also that just hits different. Where it's um, it kind of just like chills you to the bone. More than like, like I always describe like East Coast cold and probably, I, haven't spent too much time in the Midwest, so I don't know. Um, but, like, that kind of cold just, like, is, like, a slap in the face, right? It's, like, ooh, like, it's briskly cold. Versus, yeah, SF cold literally just, like, to the bone. Like, you're just, it feels, like, wet and, like, so unpleasant. So, even, and, like, you feel, like, weak because it's only, like, it's, like, high 50s right now. And I'm, I got the space heater going. I'm, like, chilly. Chilly. 
Ah. I think that's our great spin attack. It hits different. Exactly. I'm a youth. I speak like the youths. Oh my god, I hate Dark Maze so much. Bombs, bomberinos. I think that's our max bomb upgrade. We're spending our key here because I want to get to the blue warp to save us on some time later. So let's set up the blue warp and then we can do a couple more checks and then probably bail. the lever. I'm not gonna push the lever. Because I don't think we're gonna fight Octo. We had a required Octo last seed for a non-element, um, which was very rude. We basically last locationed. I think it was our four sword or something. No, it wasn't four sword. It was some other item. But yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna last location fighting Octo. It's not worth it. Wait, we're actually gonna do the gust jar check. Oh, you know what? There are some checks I should have done earlier when I was on the left side. Oh well, it happens. Please don't. So I'm actually gonna, I think, quick warp back to the beginning of the dungeon. way. I always forget about these obscure checks that you have to do on this side. Because I remember these. I got those. Then you're supposed to keep going. So glad I did that. And you can't go from the other direction because you need to push this button. Alright, let's leave. That was fun. There was there was something, there was some kinstones or something, right? There's definitely not nothing there. Um, where do I wanna go now? Where do I want to go now? Let's check the puddle here. Okay, actually, that answers that question. <laughs> That's our third Caster Wilds kinstone. God, I wish I had an ocarina. Um, to Caster Wilds. Easy. Thank you, game, for telling me exactly where to go.
So lots and lots of checks here. And this is a required dungeon, so I actually don't mind right now, an hour in, doing a full fortress of Goma to clear. I already have a shield, so it's either a trap or a mirror shield, both of which are useless, so. My character name is Steve. I don't know why, I just, I was inspired. He's just, he's just a guy. He's just some guy, his name's Steve. Exactly. I agree. 100%. Just, he's just a guy. Boring beanstalk. Yes. Behold. Carl. That's an epic quest. Really wish the sword beam worked on the levers. It'd be very useful. Um, okay, I think we're going to full clear fortress and then we're going to check um the minish checks afterwards All right, here we are in Fortress of Wind. Wind. Ooh. Pog. Oh, double Pog. Kinstone City over here, apparently. Alright guys, Fortress was definitely the call. I will 110% take a French Vanilla Ocarina. Thank you, game. Mwah, 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 mwah. How many keys do I have? I have three keys. Okay, that's good to know. So three keys will get us pretty far. We should definitely try save scumming with the keys, especially before we burn any keys because we only have three out of like, I don't know, five or so, I don't know how many keys are max, but um, there's one before the big key chest. There's two, three, four, maybe four keys total, five. No, then there's one that I always miss. There's at least like five keys. 
And we only have three. So we should save scum, is the TLDR. Also, we should have saved scum there. Oh, no, we had the ocarina. We should have saved scum there. Hello. Oh, wait, I. Shoot, I have too many. No! I need to get the kinstone! That's so upsetting. <gasps> what? That's so annoying. It doesn't stay pushed open. Okay. Okay. Cool. Kinstones. So that's all of our cloud topped kinstones, which is a kind of a crazy. Um, now we just need Veil Falls, and that'll let us jump to go full clear palace, basically. Yeah, Veil Falls kinstone is going to open a palace for us. Fortress of Go Mode. Two more swords so if we could get like a sword here as well that'll be oh super useful perfect thank you game oh and there's our last wallet so now we can actually finally go by Karloff's head perfect remind me to get back to town to spend my 600 smackaroonies There's a key for something. Man, I need more scrolls. Nice, useful. Oh, I want that. Rats. That's the third book, which means Yulari is now in logic. <laughs> we have the big, yeah, we have the big keys. So we could, we could fight Mazal and get the fir our first element. all now or come back to him later let's come back to him later let's try to clear as much as we can of fortress we're gonna have to come back 
Well, okay, let's try save scumming so we can be smart about how we navigate this. Um, because we may end up not needing to come back if we can be clever. So I'm gonna try the left side. And if there's nothing here, then we will quit without saving. And then, um, use that extra key to check the right side. Which I think should be sufficient. Imagine missing the button. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Left side was dead. Right? We didn't get any keys or anything, right? Yeah. No, because there was no checks before. It was just those two checks, right? No. I'm pretty sure it was just two checks. And look, the tracker has marked down that we have an extra key. So we've gained back our key that we lost. I believe there's two more keys we need to use. There's one here. Oh. Oh my god, I did it again. I did this last time too. How embarrassing. A lot of good finds here in Fortress. We found the Kinstones, we got the Ocarina, we got a sword. This is a good, good dungeon. Good dungeon, thank you. You've been very helpful. Sick haul. Sick man. Okay, there's a couple obscure spots here. I'm not- I don't remember which of these pots. Ow. His items, so I'm just gonna check all of them. I know this one definitely is. Cool. And then this is what we saved the key for. Now let's go fight Mazal.
Okay. Nice. This is a really good resolve fight so far. Not to jinx myself. Feeling in the groove. Feeling smooth. Feeling groovy. Geez, that was a really good Mazal fight. And there's our first dungeon done. And actually, with the blue sword, what we can do now is just go full clear Royal Valley. Because that's also an element. That's, that's fake. Speaking of Royal Valley, we already have that key. That was a trap. And there's our first element. Let's go. Hogarino. Sick. Okay, let's go do our Minish checks, and then we'll go do Royal Valley. We still need the Veil Falls Kingstone in order to go do Palace, but it's Royal Valley and Cape of Flames, surprisingly. Oh, actually, how many, how many Royal Valley keys do we have? Yeah, I heard that, I heard that Elon shut down the 2FA server. <laughs> you can't. Like, he was just... It feels comical. It feels like a sitcom where some guy, the CEO who doesn't know what's going on, shows up and is like, Oh, what's this do? Oh, wait, I need that. He shows up and goes, Oh, like, what does this do? This doesn't seem to be doing anything. And unplugs a server that runs 2FA. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? It's comical. I... Yeah. Like, I'm, like I said, I have uh, quit, quit Twitter cold turkey for a variety of reasons. And it seems like it might have been the right call. <laughs> Alright. Let's go do Royal Valley. Maybe we'll get a French vanilla. Um, unless his goal, yeah, unless it's some kind of petty revenge scheme. Maybe he just didn't like the way Twitter treated him. Like, I don't understand his game. But it is, I feel like it is satisfying. It's sad because Twitter, you know, I liked it. It was a good, we, we all had some, we had some laughs, had some good times on twitter.com. Um, but like, it's, it's kind of satisfying that's like, someone came along and was like, hey, I would like to spend my obscene amount of wealth to buy a social media site and like control some form of media. And like this kind of like sus, world we live in um and it's nice to see everyone respond to it like no like no we're still miss we're still missing grip ring which is kind of annoying because usually honestly usually krennel beanstalk is like a big early game thing so the fact that we don't have the grip ring yet is kind of surprising that is something else if we need the veil falls kinstone and the grip ring in order to um to do palace and Wind Tribe, which is unfortunate. Let's see, left, 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 up, up, up. And then once we have enough rupees, we're gonna go to town and buy Karloff's medal. Thanks for the vanilla-ish key. I'll take it. Gaming. Who needs to see? Seeing's overrated. Oh, 
there's all right see there's a grip ring guys is this like is this a baby seed for babies is this a jet seed or am i cursing myself by saying such words it feels like everywhere we go the game just gives us progression which is kind of pog kind of kind of bonkers so we have the grip ring which means that we can go do a bunch of cave of or uh, chronal checks and we have one key for cave of flame so we could did. Great question, Caroline. How many keys do I have? Well, there's our other Cave of Flames key, so that answers that question. Seed, you are reading my mind. We take these. Listen, I will always take a nice, kind seed. Um, I will do these checks, though, because these could be items. We still need Veilfall's Kinstone, and we need... Um, what's the other thing? Ah! Rats. Let's see if I make it in time. Imagine playing this Yeah, imagine. Couldn't be me. How cringe. Yeah, I had a, I had a feeling that it was coming. <laughs> Alright, let me get the blindfold out. Also, I think my phone is far away from me, so I'm going to pull up a timer on the internet instead and hope that that's loud enough. Um, because I've worried the Google timer for one minute doesn't play a sound. No, it does play a sound. Okay, cool. Alrighty then, let's get some blindfolded gaming going. All right, hopefully I'll hear the sound. All right, three. Two, one, wait, hold on, I have to hit play and then I have to select. Okay, one minute, okay, I set this for a different time. Whatever, I'll just go a couple extra seconds after. How's that for blindfolded gaming? Okay. How's that? That wasn't that. That was a whole. That was a battle. That was a whole navigation. There was some menuing involved. I think I'm not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty impressed. Okay. Yeet! And there's our second element. Thank you for redeeming Blindfolded Gaming. That was fun. That was exciting. Absolutely crushed it. Since I am, in fact, an epic gamer. Alright, let's go do Colonel Wall. Actually, it's the Cave of Flames. The nice thing is we've already done the front third. So Cave Flames is kind of broken up into like three distinct chunks. Um, so we did the first chunk. So now, which is everything up to the first key. I am powered by Blackberry Lemonade Waterloo today. I need to restock on my Seltzer supply. So Waterloo also has this like 
apple cinnamon flavor for the fall that I kind of want to- I tried once and I liked it. Or, I think I liked it. Um, yeah. So I kind of want to get that for like autumnal spirit energy. The autumn vibes, you know. I'm so excited. I've started like planning my Thanksgiving menu. I'm so excited. I love the holidays. All about the holidays. Okay, so we're on the hunt. Honestly, we're on the hunt for the Four Sword and the Veil Falls Kinstone. We might have a Veil Falls Kinstone Go mode. Which is pretty wild. Wouldn't it be great if the Veil Falls Kinstone was in Karloff's house? Wouldn't that be amazing? That Karloff medal has been teasing us since the beginning of the game. Nice chew fight. Why can I never get a silver chew fight like that during an actual run? This is, uh, riddle me this. Okay, we have the key so we can go finish the dungeon. I'm feeling very like, oh, rude. I was about to say feeling very in the zone with Miner's Cap today. Maybe because we just did a seed on Friday that like I've actually de-rusted. Imagine de-rusting and then playing the game again immediately after, instead of de-rusting and then re-rusting and then de-rusting in an endless cycle. Couldn't be me. Some bomberinos. Another key. Good, we need keys. Not keys. So the nice thing actually is that if we're go moding um a palace, we don't need to worry about having all the keys. Cause we'll be in go mode. We just have to get to I'm trying to remember what the minimum number of keys is in go mode, but It's really a small target I'm trying to hit here. Let's do this. Money! Oh, I never thought about just jumping into that whirlpool from the side like that. I usually jump straight up and then I have to like float, land, and then like do the full... Yeah, that's so much faster. I'm silly. I'm a fuel. Because yeah, it takes time to like land on a platform. Be quicker to just quick warp here. Let's go. The seed is too kind. Okay, uh, then we'll do Colonel Wall, and again, we're just looking for the Four Sword and the Veil Falls Kinstone. And we're only an hour and a half in. Knock on wood. I might um, be jinxing myself real hard right now, but I'm 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 feeling good.
no uh, roll attack yet. And also slow spin charge and yeah, slow meter charge. So missing a few scrolls I'd like to find before calling the seed, but optional. So if we don't find them, we don't find them. Two, three, four, five. There's clear rock. That's our third element all over. Let's go. I like key sanity. We should do key sanity more often. Like I, I thought this seed was gonna be slow. We're actually zipping right along. That was like three dungeons back to back to back. Or three elements. I don't know if we can really call Royal Valley a dungeon. Alright. Kids down? Bottle. I'll take a bottle. Why not? Okay, let's go check Malari for the sword. And then we'll go check um Crenel Wall. Money. So we'll check Crenel Wall and then we'll go check town. Uh to buy Karloff's head from the shop. I know, right? I love, I love all the. F I feel like fall is the most um, food centric season. It, it makes sense, right? Like, historically, this is the harvest season. Um, but I just love, like, the aesthetic of food in the fall is really nice. If that makes sense. Like, I love just, like, the big, like, Thanksgiving Christmas foods and, yeah, the cinnamon and apple and. Sweet potato, butternut squash, and like mushrooms, and just vibes, man. It's just vibes. I bought some uh, sweet potato seasoning blend, which is basically a pumpkin spice seasoning. It's cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, ginger, a little bit of salt. Um, and I've been putting it in my coffee every morning, and it's so good. Oh my god. That's a fake book, but that reminds me that we have a book to collect. A book to turn in. So we'll go back to town after this. Seems like the call. Okay. Dog food! We'll go by Karloff. Metal. Which I believe is 600 rupees. So we needed every- thank god real. Um, so you need every wallet upgrade because the level 3 wallet I believe is um, capped at 500. Fake Ocarina, very cool. That would have been- I'm glad I didn't check. I probably would have rushed Karloff sooner if I thought that was a real Ocarina. Uh, what was the other thing we wanted to do in town? Turn in the library books.
Let's do Flipper Cave. You know, while we're here. It's just the one. Okay. Um, then we'll do school yard. I can also finish town basement. We'll finish mayor's basement, basically. What did we find in Royal Valley that is motivating us? Grip Ring, but no Veil Falls Kinstone. So we can't really do too much in Upper Veil Falls yet. this guy yet. I'm starting to run out of ideas. Ooh, let's see lots of things. Oh, what was that? I wasn't looking. Oh, a heart. Town basement. With our blue sword in hand. Easy clap. Okay. Uh, we can save Gregel. We have the Gust Jar. We could go to Deepwood Shrine. I don't want to do Deepwood Shrine. There's a lot of checks scattered about that we haven't done. There's a lot of things open. Kind of spooky. But also, like, I try I'm having trouble thinking of like where where to go. Um, there's two digging caves in Minish Woods we haven't done.
Hmm. Oh, I can't do... I can't double save Greggle. Because we haven't unlocked Cloud Tops yet. Um, my goodness, there's so many things. Uh, let's do Minish Woods. God, there's a lot of checks. Um, yeah, we did all that. We abandoned all these. There's that guy. There's that. We did that. Did that. Did these. Mm-hmm. 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 Could feed Fifi. Let's feed Fifi. And Labrari. Not feed Labrari. Let's check Labrari and feed Fifi. It's like there's a lot of checks, but there's also like not that many. All right, I'll take Rock Breaker, sure. We have power bracelets so we can do Dr. Left's Attic if we were so inclined. Starting to get to scattered checks, which I don't love. We could do Deep Wood Shrine, which the music is implying we should. I don't want to do Deepwood Shrine, but I think we may need to do Deepwood Shrine. Oh, or, ha, or not. Let's go. You know what though, that was kind of stupid. I should probably just finish this check. Just, we still need a four sword. I'm not in go mode yet. I, dollars to donuts, our four sword is in Vale Falls. Um, but just to be responsible gamers, we're gonna check this anyway. Okay. To Vale Falls! Hooray! Hooray! There's lots and lots of checks in Vale Falls, which is why I think it's worth doing. Dropping everything and doing. Plus, this uh, gives us access to Clear Palace of Winds, which is last dungeon. The responsibility of my gaming. Thank you. I am nothing if not a responsible gamer. <laughs> so again, we're looking for four swords, so we're gonna full clear every area until we find it. And then four sword, I believe is go mode. I think we have, we have five. Oh, we don't have the big, <gasps> we don't have the palace big key. Oh, that's not good at all. We don't have palace big key, guys. That's really scary. Okay, let's pray and pray and hope to God that we find. Oh my gosh. Then we find our palace big key in this area because that's actually where key sanity becomes terrifying. It's like, we cannot progress through Palace without the big key. We cannot beat Palace without the big key. Big key could be literally anywhere. Oh no. The annoying thing too is that we, we could dip Palace. Oh, I don't want to do that. We can dip Palace. But we can't. Oh, let's go! Four sword! Bless. Told you a four sword was here. 
told ya. Um, okay, so now we're actually on a Palace of Wind's Big Key Go mode, which is less than ideal. But you know, it is what it is. I think it's two checks per? Maybe not. Maybe it's only one. Well, okay, we got the four sword. I can't be mad. But yeah, beautiful key. Welcome to Key Sanity. We are now on the hunt for a big key. Take every scroll along the way, thank you. Hello, friend. Now remember, Veil Fall between Veil Falls, Cloud Tops, and um, Wind Tribe, there's a lot of checks. So here's a hoping. The sea's been really kind to us so far. Let's hope the kindness continues. Yes, let me just double check my sanity, my um obscure spots knowledge here. something. It's not exactly what we were looking for, but it's some something. Hello? Key. So scary. At least we figured it out before we got to Palace. Luke Smetagli! Dankeschön! Sure not miss any spots. Okay. I like this cloud top music. Still not the digging Schmetterling, which is sad. There it is, I think. Yeah. There's our digging Schmetterling. Two Schmetterlings and one Cloud Tops? Game, you're spoiling me. Alright, now we can dig fast.
What? He didn't fall? Inconceivable. Spot there and there. Fake Lantern Rude. I don't need this disrespect. All right, that's it for cloud tops. Okay, that's all the cloud tops checks. and Vulcan. At least we can come back here. So we have this uh, quick warp spot. I know, right? The absolute disrespect. I don't need this. Alright, let's see. Gregor was grateful for my help. Nope, one dollar. Absolutely rude. One check, then I got two, three, four, all rupees, no money, no problems. There's a key of some sort. Hmm. I'm not loving this. I don't really want to enter palace without the big key. I don't have faith that it's going to be vanilla. Zero faith. So we'll come back later with the big key. So now we're on a big key go mode hunt, everyone. Alright, there's... Oh yeah, there's Lon Lon Cave, there's... Um... Digging... Let's go do that... Minish... Woods, digging... Lots of overworld checks. Still slow spin and yeah, slow spin attack and slow charge. Which is surprising. Turned in Tingle trophy.
There's another key for something. The good news is we don't have a big key for Deepwood, so there's no incentive to clear Deepwood Shrine quite yet. Um, we could do quite a bit of Deepwood Shrine, however. Um, there's something in South Hyrule Field. There's... Oh, we have the Four Swords, so that's chests in town. The only Four Sword check. The schoolyard. Oh, we can turn in Rem also while we're here. Turn in the mushroom. Red rupee, red rupee, red rupee. Double droplets key. Doctor left. She sighs. Whew. Cute. Oh, what's the thing I just said we we're gonna do? Doctor left. We're also- so we're missing two big keys, so I'm really hoping that we don't get, like, bamboozled. Get excited over a fake one. Wait, that's not it. There's... god, there's so many things I don't want to do and so many things we could do. Um... Oh, we could turn- we never talked to Yalari! Wait, we turned in the books but we didn't talk to Yalari. Oh my god, we're fools. Guys, what if it's Yalari? Remember when we turned in the books and then just went to Flipper Cave? How silly of us. The embarrassment, I know. To not get my 20 bucks from Yalari. Really essential. Um, we missed a chest in Hype Cave? Oh my god. Did we really? I thought we might have missed a chest in Hype Cave. I'm gonna go check Hype Cave. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Badoofs, the Radicaz, the Skolvitz. The flying toilets? Wait. Oh, the Pelipper. It's like, what's a flying toilet? Okay, cool. Well, that's nothing. Um, but wow, I can't believe I missed that chest. That was really scary. Ah, uh, Guys, we're probably gonna have to... Wait, there's two more overworld checks I want to do, and then we're going to go try Deepa Trine. Two more overworld checks, then Deepwood. Then to Deepwood we go. Ha. 
Man, that's so disappointing. Y'all saw that. So rude. Not the key we're looking for. Let's go to Deepwood. Seed said it was time to go. I know, right? Me too! You think you were excited? How do you think I feel? I'm the schmuck over here who got... I knew that was gonna happen too. I was like, oh, we're gonna find a key and get bamboozled into thinking it's the right one. Alright, let's see how quickly we can do this dungeon. Lesson- yeah, I know, right? Foolish. You fool! Oh, this is going to be music the whole time. It's going to be the first section, but not quite the entirety of um, the festival theme. Cool. Alright, place your bets. Do you think that the big key is here in Deepwood Shrine, or do you think it's in Palace or in a? Uh, do you think it's in Temple of Droplets, or do you think it's in Palace of Winds? I don't think there's that many overworld checks left for it to be. I'm trying to think how many overworld checks we've abandoned. Vanilla heart piece. Another Temple of Droplets key. Hmm, don't like that. Hmm. 
It's not that guy. With the force or at least even one cycled matter pillar, so that's not too bad. Alright, not the worst. Not useful, but not useless. Those are very rude. Okay, and this is Deepwood Shrine. Which honestly, with Key Sanity, is just a series of checks, right? It's like, it's not necessarily a waste of time to come here. It'd be nice if we didn't have to. Dungeons are kind of slow. Honestly though, dungeons are kind of dense though in terms of checks, especially with Key Sanity, because if this were a regular seed, then we would have well, like four keys and a map and a compass shuffle and a big key all shuffled in. So that would be seven checks total that are just like absolutely useless to us. But because we're doing key sanity, all of the checks in this dungeon were like potential useful things instead of just, I don't know how many additional checks there are outside of those seven. Too bad. With the four swords, not too bad. All right. We did a bunch of Todd checks. The only stuff left in Temple Drops, I believe, would be the two mini boss fights and Octo, none of which I'm looking forward to doing. Um, what else is out there in the world that I could do? What are checks I haven't checked yet? Bookshelf, yard, evening, potential left, bulldozer. Yeah. Oh, there's this, oh, there's this guy. Hold on, we gotta leave properly. There's someone we missed in the overworld. Before we go to Todd. We are starting to get to the last locationing though, which is less than ideal. Probably should have done this guy before Todd, but that's okay. We also were like right here. We could have definitely checked this guy a while ago when we did Cave of Flames. We did the Deku, but we just forgot to do this guy. I don't- maybe we didn't have the grip ring at the time. But at some point we got the grip ring, right? So at some point, we're, I think once we're out of overworld checks, basically it's, okay, that's our last palace key. Then let me just, I think we're out of overworld checks. Let me just check. 
Um, you're gonna call it a night? All right, well, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the good luck. Thanks for the good vibes. Uh, always a pleasure. Have a great rest of your night and a great rest of your week. I think that's it for overworld checks, unfortunately. So I think where the next play is gonna be either is Todd. So we have all the keys we need at least. At least we have the lantern for this check. Oof. <laughs> we have all the keys, so we don't need to worry about safes coming. But... Still gross. I swear to god, if big key for palace is in palace, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Okay, so blue chew or octo first? Let's do blue chew. Actually, we're here. No, JK. We'll do blue chew first, and then matter pillar, and then octo. Feels like the right order of operations. Oh, we've totally forgot this obscure spot, too. Ah! I always forget this one. Cool. I would've been really mad if that had been the key. Because, <laughs> like, I just forgot that is that spot existed. Yeah, basically, if it's not here, then it's in Palace, which is disgusting. A disgusting place to put a big, the Palace big key. How dare you. Terrible, terrible RNG. Terrible blue chew fight. Oh no, please. Okay. Yep. Matter pillar, and then we'll do Octo. Wait, wait, wait. 
I'm so dumb. There was definitely a big key in Julieta's house. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm an absolute buffoon. Oh, we knew this from the very beginning. No. I'm so silly. I remember we we like peeked at the very beginning of the sea. Why did no one remind me? At the very beginning of the sea, we said, "Hey, look, there's a big key. We'll be back for you later." Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. Oh my god. Guys, it was here the whole time and I knew full well it was here. Ah! We could have been... We actually could have been like... Had like an insane time on the seed. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm so sad. It was right... It was here at the... It was Sphere 1. Sphere 0. It was peekable from Sphere 0. Oh my god. Well, that's go mode. I can't believe I forgot that that was there. Oh my god. So sad. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, always make notes of things to come back to later. I never make notes. I just operate on vibes. And this is my punishment for my hubris. All right, well, we're go moding palace, so we have all the keys. We're not gonna check anything. We're just gonna go straight for, straight to the top. Oops. I'm mad because this is entirely my fault. It wasn't even the seed being difficult. The seed was so kind and this is how I repay it. The seed was nothing but kind to me today. Ugh. Can avoid all this nonsense at least. There's usually nothing in Julieta's house is the problem. But yeah, just now I just remembered, like, oh my god. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Stupid four sword. Every time. Yeah, for some reason I was like, wait a minute, I feel like, like, I was thinking about the mayor's cabin, and I was like, what was that item? Because I was like, I feel like I remember peeking something that was a big key, and then I remembered. Ow. The annoying thing with Palace is it's not a great dungeon to go mode because it's so linear, that you end up still having to, like, Traverse a lot of space. Man, how long were we hunting for the big key? I feel like we found the four sword in Upper Vale Falls, and then we did all of Deepwood, we did Blue Chew, we were about to do Octo. Thank god I remembered before we did all that. I'm gonna go back and look at the time, though. Whatever, whenever we found the four sword, or whenever we realized we didn't have the big key for Palace, I'm gonna mark as like, how long did it take me to remember that I actually did know what it was? 
Because that's how much time we lost. The good news is that this dungeon and DHC will both go very quickly. Cozy indeed. Hello, hello. I'm so upset. But, c'est la vie. Um, let's go this way. Just curious what that was. Yeah, look how linear and like long this dungeon is. Like this is go mode, this is rushing. Versus what you wanna ideally be able to rush is like um fortress, because the boss key is right there, or the boss door is right there. Let's fight Gyorg. This is good music for the Gyorg fight. Alright, there's Gyorg. Easy. Nice and quick. This seed handed us go mode on a silver platter, and I denied it. I let it down. I let the seed down, guys. DHC we go. The nice thing is that we have the big key, so we don't need to worry about nonsense like um, 
finding the big key. We know exactly where it is. It's in my pocket. sword time. We're gonna go straight to body. Yeah, key sanity means basically straight to body. I'll skip saving the king for once. A very rare occurrence. Great music. Very dramatic. Ow. It was on me. Okay. We still slow, yeah, slow spin attack and slow charge up. We're not gonna do any more checks, so that's it. Like we're not gonna have those for the body fight, which is, you know, a little less than ideal, but not, not the end of the world. We have a backup fairy also, so we're good on health. And here we go! 
Vadi o'clock, guys. Oh, I hate that. Oh, pardon me, friends. Unfortunate RNG on the Darknet fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. The oncoming storm. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, God. How are you doing? We are... Oh, God. Please, please, please. <laughs> we are wrapping up a Minish Cap rando seed. Um... Well, that I should have finished maybe an hour ago, but I was dumb and forgot that I had actually peeked to check. Um, don't blink, don't blink, this is a raid. Oh, it's spooky. Well, welcome on in. I appreciate your Doctor Who themed aesthetic, username, and raid message. Uh, hello, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, how was your stream? How was your Monday? If it is Monday where you are, maybe it's not Monday anymore. Uh, yeah, we are doing, so we're doing a key sanity Minish Cap randomizer seed. Um, and yeah, we basically forgot that at the very beginning of the seed, we peeked this one check. I was like, oh, hey, it's a big key. I'm gonna need that later. And then I just completely forgot about it. Oh, rude. Oh, we're not good on health at all. Um, so whoops. So that, yeah, so we lost, I want to time it because it feels like we lost maybe like 20 minutes to just like wandering around looking for this key that we knew exactly where it was. Yeah, the good news is that the seed is almost over, so. Oh gosh, thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate it. Tuesday morning for you, Star Subnautica. Ooh, that's fun. Are you a fan of uh, Zelda randomizers and or Minish Cap specifically? Oh. I've never played Subnautica, looks cool though. Ah! Oh gosh. Please. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, Queen Shlemiel, hello! Come with the raid and leave. Well, uh, thank you so much for swinging by with the raid. Have a great rest of your night. Um, yeah. Thank you for the good luck. We, yeah, I'm hoping that this body fight will go smoothly. But we'll see. We're also missing some upgrades I normally have for this fight, so it might be well, a little bit sketch. Excuse me, you're standing like literally in my way. Please, thank you. Okay. Nice. Well, I appreciate, uh, I appreciate the red very much. Ah! Yeah, so I guess introduction? Oh gosh. Ugh. I am Carolinix or Caroline. Um, I do a lot of Minish Cap content. I do some Pokemon Go content. I do, oh gosh, crocheting and recently cross stitching as well. Um, this coming Monday, I'm going to be playing the new Pokemon game uh, first playthrough. So that'll be exciting. Yeah, and I do, oh, Super Princess Peach speedruns as well. So I do, yeah, speedruns, randomizers, things like of that ilk. But yeah, welcome everyone. Okay. Wow, we really lost a bunch of health there. Okay. Rough body fight. Well, rough dark nut fight, and then going to body with no health. 
We didn't die though. That's the most important thing. Right arm, please go into the ground. Why is it always the left arm? Because then his other arm's just like standing in the way. Cool. Hog. Alright. We're almost done. Yeah, we're just gonna do that the old fashioned way. Yeah, I don't like having the slow spin chart, like the slow charge meter. But I mean, this is how we do it in glitch, in like any percent speedruns anyway, so it's fine. Sir. This is incredibly disrespectful to my time. Oh my god, why am I missing these? Guys, she's choking. She's choking the body fight. <gasps> I'm trying to line up with the sword. Maybe I should just go by vibe and not try to line it up. Yeah, just vibes. It's like I've done this a million times. Alright. Last one, make it count. I don't know why I'm choking this so bad. It's so embarrassing. Oh my god, sir, it's so rude. There's time. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so mad about the big key. I'm so mad because it's all my fault. <laughs> like, I just didn't... I knew... I, we checked it. We even, like, peeked it, right? Like, that's... This is what I get for... So, I think in my head, like, we, we peeked the check, and usually Julieta's house is nothing. And so I was like, oh, like, we checked it. We're good. We're done. We didn't have to bother. Um, instead, what happened was we saw it, we said, oh, we'll come back for you later, and then never came back for it. And I'm wondering if it, if we instead we didn't peek Juliana's and waited until we could actually clear it, if that would have been better. Because then as soon as I got the bottle, I probably would have been like, oh, I can do Juliana's house now, and then I would have gone to check and saw it was big key, and we wouldn't have been in this conundrum in the first place. Because, yeah, I feel like we lost maybe, like, 20 minutes to... Well, maybe, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe it was like 15, 10, 15. Uh, we lost a lot of time, though, that we could have been spending um, doing anything else. So that's that for the seed. Um, thank you all for hanging out and enjoying this chill key sanity Minish Cap seed. Uh, I will probably not be streaming this Thursday. Um, I might stream Sunday to do some Pokemon Go Element Cup. Um, we'll see. Tune in. Find out. Um, and then Monday, we'll be playing the new Pokemon game. I got Violet version, so we're playing some Pokemon Violet. Get excited, get hyped. Uh, but yeah, thank you, uh, everyone, including Elon, 
for hanging out and enjoying the content. Um, and thank you, Oncoming Storm, for the raid as well. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap things up for now um, and for tonight and find someone to raid. All right, we've got, let's see, what friends do we have? Stream. We got a couple of friends streaming Minish Cap, actually, which is kind of fun. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, so we got, let's see. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and send some love over to Right in the Childhood, who we've sent, who's done some Minish Cap content before, and uh, yeah, we've rated a few times. Always good times, always good vibes. So, child, I'm not sure I spelled this right. Yes, thank you so much for swinging by and hanging out for the remainder of stream. Let's go ahead and send some love over to Right in the Childhood, who's playing some, uh, I believe, like, first playthrough, cozy, casual uh, Minish Cap. So, yeah, wish them some luck, some good vibes. And I'll see you all this weekend or Monday. Until then, I hope everyone has a great rest of their week and a great weekend. Thanks, everyone. Bye.